Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on how I get this super sleek straight hair look which has actually been inspired by Kim Kardashian because she's doing it a lot lately. If you want to see how I created this look then continue watching. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just heat protect my hair and the one that I love using the most is the Tresemme one and this one's in the purple and black packaging and it just says heat defense up to 230 degrees protection against heat damage styling spray as well so I'm just going to put this through my hair right so that's all through my hair just to let you know my hair is a towel dry it's not soaking wet from when I just left the shower and then I'm going to use my Babyliss Pro Speed and this is in the 2200 watt and I'm just going to dry my hair with it. Right, so that's my hair all dried and with it being towel dried first, it doesn't take as long to dry the hair. However, I did want to mention the products that I do use on my hair. So before I went into the shower, so the first thing I did was use the Body Shop's Rainforest Coconut Oil. And I mainly placed this into my scalp because that's where I have dandruff and obviously my hair is very sensitive and itchy there so you literally leave that to basically marinate in your hair for a bit I left it about half an hour all the shampoo it's Garnier's ultimate blends in the vanilla milk and papaya and then to condition my hair I used the coconut oil and cocoa butter one as well so for the shampoo in this one's for mid to long hair with split ends and my hair does have split ends um, especially with it being long so it doesn't get cut as much and then the conditioner is for dry frizzy hair so it just gives your hair more of a silky smooth finish so once I've finished drying my hair I just brush it I do want to mention that when you do dry your hair make sure the nozzle is facing downwards and not upwards because if it's facing downwards then any frizz that you have in your hair they will lay flat rather than upwards so I've just brushed my hair and I'm going to go grab my parting brush. Now I'm just going to grab this brush and just part my hair straight in the middle. I'm going to go straight in it, in the front, where people see the mess. So now that's done, I'm going to apply a hair oil merely on to the ends as well because when I had a uh, dip dye hair I wrecked the ends of my hair so the hair oil that I'm using is from Organics and this is the hydrating macadamia oil so I literally grab a pea size amount like do you see that much and I'm just going to rub this in between the palms of my hands and just lightly put it through the ends. Now what this will do is help to hydrate the ends that are very dry but also smooth down any of the flyaways that I have. So all you do is just rub the palms together making sure that you get it on the fingers and then you use your fingers just to apply that hair oil and then for the second time I'll just rub my palms again and just glide it through the mid lengths to the end and whatever is left over I'm slowly going to just creep that up to the top because you don't really want a lot of the oil at the top anyway because that's where your hair has most moisture from the oils that your scalp produces naturally 
and then just run some of it through the back and on the top as well because that's where people will see my hair the most. Now generally when I do my hair I just do these steps first and then I'll go in and do my makeup and then once my makeup is done I then go in and straighten my hair. The reason why I do that is because it just allows the oil just to be absorbed by the hair so it's not straight away fresh and that way you're not damaging your hair either. So I'm just going to let this sit for a bit but you'll probably see me in about a few seconds anyway. So before I straighten my hair I'm just going to brush through it again just so that there is no knots in the hair. Just put my hair straight in a run and this is the Remington one. I don't really know which one it is but it's the one where it's coral and black and I like this one because it heats up very quickly and it's very slim as well and quite quick at straightening my hair. So at the minute it was just flashing blue so it was heating up but now it's ready. Now before when I used to straighten my hair I used to straighten every single strand and I felt like it made my hair look very limp and lifeless so now I just straighten more the top areas and just the back bit so there's still a bit of volume left from underneath where all these hairs are back there. So I'll start off from the back just grab like an inch piece and straighten that first and then I'll slowly I'll slowly work my way upwards I'll just turn around and show you and now I'm getting towards the crown of my head and again just literally working from the back upwards so as you can see it's giving it that shine and flattening out any flyaways that I may have now I don't do the front piece of my hair just yet I'll leave that to last so that area is all done so now I'm just going to grab random bits of hair not from the root just from ear length down and start straightening it like so so now I'm going to turn this way where all my hair is on here and start grabbing random bits as well now because my hair is quite straight anyway I don't feel like I need to do every single strand but you can if you want to I personally don't need to mine's just making sure that everything looks shiny and glossy so anywhere that I can see anything I'm just going to straighten and doing this as well I, it doesn't take as long for me to do it I can literally do my hair in 10 minutes including the drying as well right so I have a little bits of hair growing like where my hairline is at the front so I'm grabbing those pieces and straightening them as well just in case I pull my hair up into a pony you don't want those bits to look curly either right so now I'm going to do the front of my hair so I'm just grabbing that piece and just literally pulling it down like so and then I'll just go in where my feathered bits are at the front making sure that they're straight as well and then that basically is one section of hair done so I'm just going to do the other side flick all this to there so again just brushing it And again, starting from the back and working up towards the crown. So I'm scrubbing random bits now. Do the back area
I'm just going to do the bits near my hairline. I have got a mirror just there, which is what I'm looking at at the minute. So that I can see what I'm doing. I'm not burning myself because I've done that a few times. So now I'm going to do the front piece now. And just make sure that everything is straighter at the ends. I'm just going to have a quick look in the mirror. I'm happy with that. So this is what your hair should look like once it's straightened. So you can see a bit of that shine coming through. Now to build up that shine more, I'm going to apply a oil hairspray. And this one is also from the same company, um, Organics, and this is the anti-breakage keratin oil. So it's not, it says it's a weightless one, which it actually is because it doesn't weigh your hair down when you apply it. But I don't spray it from the bottle to my hair. I actually get two sprays on my palm and my hand, like that. Rub them together, and again, using my fingertips, just to smooth everything down again so I'll do one side with two pumps and then the other side with another two sprays this just gives it that extra glossy shine but doesn't make your hair look greasy and weighted down I just say that you could use that on wet hair before you blow dry so the oil is being blow dried into your hair and then whatever is left over just pat some of it down onto where my panting is now I do have a bit of flour at the top because my new baby hairs are growing and they don't really lay flat so this is basically what I do to my hair to give it the sleek Kim Kardashian look and it didn't take long like I said if I was just doing this it would take me 10 minutes to do my hair and it doesn't look too flat either from straightening every single strand because these hairs here underneath from like an inch down they're still got the volume from the blow dry so this is the back So yeah, if you liked watching this video then please give it a thumbs up and let me know as well if you liked this hair tutorial in a sense um, so that I can make more. I am thinking of doing more like braid and hairstyle looks as well. Um, so yeah and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!